Also following breaking news on the El Faro disaster, the families of 10 of the ship's 33 crew members have now settled with the freighter's parent company. El Faro sank near the Bahamas last October during Hurricane Joaquin. The Coast Guard never found the bodies of the crew. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci has been following the developments since the beginning. Vic joins us with the latest on the settlements. Vic? Well, Tom and Stacy, each of the 10 crew members' families received $500,000 for pain and suffering, plus an undisclosed amount for lost wages and other economic effects. Those details are in a federal court order which we got a hold of today. The families receiving the settlement include those of the ship's captain, Michael Davidson, Roan Lightfoot from Jacksonville Beach, and the five Polish sailors on board. Tote Maritime, the company that owned and operated the ship, sent us this statement. Quote, since the loss of the El Faro, we have focused every effort on supporting the families of those on board. An important part of this support has entailed reaching fair and swift legal settlements for those who may choose them. We want to stress that, the, that our support of all the families will continue. I also spoke with local maritime lawyer Rod Sullivan, who's not representing any of these families, but has been following their cases closely. Actually, I have to admit, I was a bit surprised that people had settled so early. I know that offers would be made, but I didn't expect so many of them to be accepted. You know, for some people, they just want to get the litigation over with and get on with their lives. And, and for them, uh, the settlement may be a proper solution. You know, we tend to forget that these are the clients' cases. They're not the lawyers' cases. And the clients decide when the amount of money is right. Now, claims from the families of the other 23 crew members remain pending, along with dozens of claims from the people who owned the cargo that was also lost at sea. The NTSB is still investigating. They found the ship, but have not yet found the voyage data recorder. The agency's leaders are still deciding if they'll search for it again. Stacy, Vic, were any local attorneys involved in these settlements? I see one local law firm in here. The rest of them appear to come from South Florida. Remember, only one of these families appears to be from the area. That is the family of Roan Lightfoot. The other five are from Poland, and the remaining four are from uh, the northeastern part of the United States.